Check it out, man. In this dating scene, I know women is always talking about red flags that they looking for in men. And what y'all don't realize is men be looking for red flags in women, man. And the biggest red flag that we be looking for is how y'all talk about y'all baby daddies. Ain't no reason for you to dim that man's light to make yours brighter. Because what you don't realize is whether he ain't shit or whether he's the shit, we still gonna fuck. We don't give a fuck about none of that shit. Like, <laughs> we don't give a fuck. Like, you know what I mean? You ain't got to diss him. We know him. He can hoop like a motherfucker. You know what I mean? Like, but it's, it's like, you know, if you sitting here and you got multiple baby daddies, you got two, three, four, five baby daddies, and you sit here talking about how they all ain't shit, now it's an automatic red flag. We sitting there thinking like, you have five tries, and out of all five tries with five different dudes, it's they fault, not yours. <sighs> red flag. Now I thought bust his nut, I got to ghost you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you don't pass up on no veteran coochie. You still got to go through with it. You know what I'm saying? Because ain't nothing better than no coochie that done pushed out four college athletes. You understand me? A veteran coochie different. It's like when you sit in a pedicure chair and they start massaging. They got them little settings in there like, whoa, whoa, what is what is this going on right here? <laughs> Hey, listen, man, you either going to be offended or you're going to be inspired. But what you got to understand with that veteran coochie and the multiple baby daddies is uh, when that post nut clarity kicks in, one or two things is going to happen. He's either going to be in love with you or he's going to be like, damn, I see why them niggas left.